We're of course time is just a construct. Everything you love will fade from existence. Of course the universe is massive, and you are just a speck of dust. And you are just a speck of dust. Charlie, you've left the milk out again. Oh, sorry. But it's ruined. That's money wasted. Well, don't worry. I'll buy you a pint from the shop. Why would you leave the milk out? You do it all the time. My mother always taught me to never, ever, ever leave the milk out. Cool. So can you truly say that you're angry as a person? Or have you just inherited your mother's arbitrary conditioning? Don't leave the milk out. Why are you so annoyed anyway? This place is a mess. Why are there so many copies of the uni newspaper, the Deanery Digest? Well, it's a very reliable publication. No, it isn't. It's unreadable. It's mainly a stream of consciousness mess written in biro by the Dean. I picked one up and tried to check my horoscope earlier and it was just a description of your face. Twelve times. Oh. What's wrong with you, Liam? When did you last leave the house? Thursday. That was three days ago. Last Thursday. Look, I've just been in a bit of a rut. I mean, it sometimes feels like I only really know two people. Then there's a slightly large group of people who seem to pop in and out of my life. Well, we'd better get you out of the house then. I'm just off to Easy Sunshine. Do you want to come? Why? Well... Mainly to sample vegan delights in a cosy, crime-free atmosphere. Stop reading the flyer. All right. It's odd wording, though. Anyway, are you coming? No, it's okay. I've got a lot of urgent stuff to deal with here. I mean, all these box sets aren't going to watch themselves. Well, actually, these do. You've bought the self-watching editions. They come with a guy, see? All right, Liam. I did wonder what he was doing here. This is a good one, isn't it, Liam? We don't really have a rapport. Do you want to see some pictures of my kids? Yeah, all right. Well, I can see you're busy here and I'm off. Are you coming? No, I'm good. Box set guy's showing me some family photos. I just hope they never find out this is what I do. Excuse me, miss? Do you have a bread with pumpkin seeds instead of sesame seed? Sesame really bamboozles my digestive tract. Why do you keep coming in here? All you ever do is complain. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first time I've visited your vegan establishment, and I'm not sure I will again. Excuse me, miss. I ordered my coffee two minutes ago, and my thirst hasn't been quenched. What? Right, you two, get out, and if you haven't developed distinctive voices by the time you get back, then there will be hell to pay. Why well, don't even know who you're supposed, supposed to be? be? How do you think I feel? Why do we you're have like the guy voices? that came first. You know? Zoe, why were those two clearly different people rethinking their very identity? Oh, I'm not in a great mood, Charlie. I just broke up with my boyfriend, Knifey Pete. Oh no, and he'd just gotten your name tattooed on his face. Yeah, he had. I do miss him. He doesn't even live in town. What, has he moved away? Where to? Strange ways. Is that in Holland? If you like. Well, he was no good for you anyway. Everyone thought so. Really? Absolutely. What do you think, Vinny? What a monk. Tell you what. Why don't I hook you up on a blind date? Oh, I don't know, Charlie. You've got a pretty bad history of hooking people up. Do you remember when you set me up with that geologist? So, any interests? Rocks. Anything else? Mainly rocks. Okay. Can you help me buy lingerie for my mum? Okay, so it didn't go great. And then there was that guy from the Met. So, any interests? Actually, yes. Where were you on the 18th of September, 1998? Oh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, look, it's the geologist again. Uh, hey, Zoe. Do you think my mum would like this blouse? Yeah, okay, they weren't great, but I promise this will be different. Well, fine, I'll give you one more chance. Great! Just meet them at the Bourgeois Pig at noon. Strange name for a restaurant. It's one of those Marxist chains. Fair enough. I I just hope this works out better than the others, Charlie. Uh, Hey, Zoe, I brought my mother with me. How do you think she looks in this dress? Please take me back to the home. Hello? (laughs) Go away, harmonica man. (laughs) Who was that? Harmonica player again. Bloody door-to-door bluesman. Wait, why are you still here? We finished watching TV three hours ago. My wife thinks I'm a cardiologist. I'm on call tonight. (sighs) Right. Hello? Are you looking for something? I'm sorry? Are you looking for something in life? I don't think so. Oh, but you are. We're all looking for something in life. 
Truth is, you're, you're currently being controlled by external forces that are causing you to make poor choices. How would you feel if I told you none of your problems were your fault? Go on. Take a brochure. We have a meeting every Monday. The Cosmonological Church. Mm, sounds a bit like a cult. No, we're not. See? Definitely n- not a cult, no matter what anyone says or what you've heard from your friends and extended family, especially your extended family. Well, this seems fine. Who's that at the door? Some guy from the Cosmological Church. Sounds like a cult. No, no, it's okay. She says it's not. Well, I'd be careful. You're not my dad. How can you give me advice when you can't share basic truths about your life with your family? So, will we see you on Monday? Yeah, all right. Where will I find you? Can anyone really be found? Yes. You're right. We meet at six at the leisure centre after the senior jazzercise. I'll be there. (sighs) What a nice lady. That hurt, Liam. You're ridiculous. Martha? Oh, hey, Zoe. What what are you doing here? Well, I allowed Charlie to foolishly set me up on a blind date. Me too. You don't think... Oh my god, this is priceless. I'm on a date with Martha Loveless. That would certainly appear to be the direction of events. Good evening. Welcome to the bourgeois pig. Are you two here to stuff your fat capitalist faces with food grown off the broken back of the proletariat? Hi, yeah, I'll have the Ho Chi Minh chicken. And I'll just have the Lenin tools. Excellent choice. So, how have you been? What have you been up to? Well, I went home at the weekend because it was my birthday to see my mum and dad, but unfortunately we had to bury my dog, David Thewlis. He'd been run over by a marching band that my mum had ordered. But you used to love marching bands, she kept screaming at me. The thing is, they could have stopped at any time, but they were given very clear instructions. We tried to save him, but apparently once the head comes off, that really limits your options. Anyway, once we'd buried him, due to boundary disputes, we had to exhume little David and rebury him four inches to the left. I miss David. I love dogs! I I was sceptical of this blind date thing at first, Martha, but I'm actually really enjoying this. Right. Hi, is this the Cosmological Church? Hello, Liam. Hi, uh, when does the meeting start? Soon. We just need to finish the ceremonial chatter. Observe. How are you, Brother Superior? I'm fine, Alan! How are you? Oh, well, I'm fine. Good, we're settled then. Let the meeting commence! Good, yes, great, right, fantastic. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you all at this meeting of the Temple Chapter of Biology. Actually, sir, we're the Cosmological Church at the moment. Mm, Good, yes, great. No, that's a bit close to the wire, Sandra. We might get sued. Well, what should we call ourselves, then? Beetroot Inc. No, Alan, we as an organisation have nothing to do with the root. (laughs) Just like Beetroot is our... Shut up! Um, The uh, anti... Deluvians? Ooh, good, good, very good indeed. What's your name? Liam. Hmm, Liam, 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 Liam. The man that's known as Liam. What shall we call you? From this day forwards, you shall be known as Liam. I understand you've met Sandra, and that is Alan. I have. We are the most holy chapter of the Antediluvians. I can't remember who came up with the name, but he looked a little bit like you. Anyway, on to business. Sorry, but what exactly do you, we, do? Well, on Wednesdays we have squash, Thursdays is movie night, and at the weekend we break into supermarkets and steal all the orange things. Right. Yes, hating the colour orange is very much our thing. Our USP, if you will. We believe that beings called uh, mutons transmit controlling signals into our brains, being thus responsible for everything bad that happens in life. The mutons are also invisible, so they may be in the room right now, but we won't know. So, do I need to buy my own racket for squash? You can if you want to, so long as it's not orange. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, to business. Right, item one. Recruiting celebrities to popularise the order. Sandra, I believe you've been doing some work on this. Uh, Yes, sir. Well, obviously, cults, (laughs) I mean, New Age religions, are a pretty crowded market, so we'll need some celebrity sponsorship to get any subscriptions. I mean, um, believers. (laughs) And we have got some interest. Okay, good. Yes, fantastic. I like it. We've got Brian Cox. The actor? No. The popular scientist? No. Brian Cox, the pianist. Hmm. I've never heard of him. Do people even like him? Oh, uh, absolutely. I've got all of his albums. Alan seems to like this guy. All in favour? Alan. The motion is denied. (laughs) All right, then. What's next? Okay, well, we have a chuckle cousin. Huh. 
Couldn't you get one of the brothers? Sorry, I did try. Oh, fine, fine. So long as he's funny. Well, that's just the thing. Turns out that your cousins are actually just very efficient builders that complete the task in hand with no mistakes and a minimal amount of confusion. Uh, well, at least we'll always have Carol Vorderman. She has in many ways kept this organisation afloat. Actually, she called yesterday. Her accountant pulled the plug. What? Why? Great! Fantastic! No! Did she say our overheads? Our turnover's turning over. The margins will be marginal. When we're up and running, that is. The profit. Market's origin. The fiscal quarter. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, but this doesn't seem like much of a New Age religion. It seems like more of a business meeting. Uh, well, obviously it isn't. I mean, look at our crazy beliefs. I've got uh, orange socks on, you know. Damn you, Alan! I'm so glad you agreed to a second date, Martha. I had such fun last time. Well, you know, I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> I hear you. Roll up, roll up, shoot the other, shoot a live other and win the prize of a giant teddy bear so your lady or significant other can hold a comedy giant bear at the Lord Mayor's show and regimental dinners. Roll up. Martha, you should have a girl. I'd rather not, thanks. Oh, don't you try and fool me with one of your trademark quirks, Loveless. Go on, it'll be fun. Besides, it's all legal since the government took away our rights. <sighs> okay. Hey, whole lady, try your luck, shoot the others, win the big prize. I stopped relying on luck a long time ago. Hey, you're a funny guy, but let's get to the game. Here's your rifle. <laughs> Wow, Martha, you're a dead shot, aren't you? Why did you want to shoot like that? I woke up one day and had to get pretty good pretty fast. They've taken the leisure complex. We need to get out. No, my child, believe me. I've taught all there is to know. You can survive by yourself now. But how will I live without you, Father? We'll always have Aquafresh. Martha, donnez-nous les cochons bourgeois, le party animal. Is it a secret, Martha? Yeah, it's a secret. I have secrets. It's hard to keep them all sometimes. About the past in particular. I hear you. So, I suppose you want to follow a similar format for the date next time? Oh, you charmer, you. <laughs> Animal Protection Squad, hand over those otters. It did seem odd that you let us shoot all of those otters. You know, all those otters. Fine, but please tell me that hamster squishing is still legal. That's keeping this place going. Of course it is. Hamster squishing is perfectly humane, as you know. (coughs) Sorry. Don't worry, it's perfectly humane. Morning, Liam. Oh, hi, Charlie. Why are you dressed so strangely? I'm only dressed in my sports stuff. Exactly. Why are you dressed so strangely? I'm going to go play badminton with my new friends. New friends? Well, if you say so. Where's the orange juice, by the way? And my orange jumper? And Bill's collection of novelty traffic cones? Oh, I threw them away. What? Why? Well, you know, telepathic signals, brain transmitters, and uh, mutons. You know, yeah, you, you know the score. Hang on. Liam, have you joined a cult? What? No! That's hilarious! Hey, Spooky Bill! Yeah? Liam's joined a cult! Has he? That's hilarious! But I haven't joined a cult! Don't worry, Liam. I was in a cult once. We collected feet. This is hilarious. I have to tell everyone. (laughs) Zoe, Liam's joined a cult. (laughs) That's brilliant! Priceless. I'll tell Vinny. Vinny! Liam's joined a cult! What a monk! Actually, I was talking to the other Vinny. Vinny! Hey, who's this Baloka? Hey, why I oughta? I haven't joined a cult. Hang on. What the bloody hell do you want? It's best, the Dean. Liam's joined a cult. Bloody hell, that's hilarious. Let me tell my awful wife. Crystal! Yes, Dean? Shut up. I love you. Anyway, you know Sterling? The one you have a poster of that you scream at. The one I have a poster of that I scream at. He's only gone and bloody well joined a cult. Wow. Maybe you'll finish your novel now. I bloody well. Chapter 28. The wreckage of the Blitz ravaged London. And the Dean emerged from the carnage with two starving orphans. Are you our father? They cried. Not anymore, he answered truthfully. 
and then he threw them, many a furlong and a span. Ooh, good God, Dean, you've done it again! I'm more excited than I've ever been! Crystal, get in here and bring the cranberries and the mop! No! No! The posh mop! I'm literally sweating with ecstasy! Aren't you still on the phone? Bloody hell! Okay, that was deeply strange, but I haven't joined a cult. You didn't join that cult, did you, Liam? Oh, shut up, box set guy. Where does your wife think you are at the moment? Cardiological conference. I thought as much. Hey, Zoe, how did it go with Martha? Great, actually, Charlie. I'm surprised your plan worked. Well, you know, who can go wrong with Martha Lovelace, eh? Exactly. Anyway, what are you going to do about Liam? Nothing. He'll grow out of it eventually. We all go through our cult phase. I mean, I was raised Methodist, and you worshipped that insurance salesman who believed he could stop the waves. His death was tragic. Have you ever been in a cult, Vinny? Absolutely not. I mean, there are a load of kooks. Sorry, I meant Vinny, Vinny. I'm sorry, but it would be helpful if you could distinguish us. I can call Vinny. I mean, she's talking a load of hooey. I'm so glad they're getting on. Yes, squash! So then Goldman walked in and gave Morgan Stanley what for? Great times! Uh, was that before or after the city Christmas party? Well, with the heady concoction of narcotics I was on at the time, who knows? Uh, I hear you! Hello. What? Oh, yeah. Hello. Um. Liam. Liam, yes! <laughs> Liam, Liam, Liam. Your name is Liam. The man called Liam. Yes, Liam. <laughs> Friend Liam. Yeah, you, you're labouring the point there, Brother Superior. Hmm. So, do you uh, l- like my trainers? What? Oh, oh, yeah, trainers, yes, very nice. Good, great, yes, nice, nice colour. What? Oh, oh, God, the colour! What's wrong with them? They're orange. Oh, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a that's thing, a, that's a thing we don't like. We don't yeah. like orange, no, oh, bad. No, bad. Disgraceful, oh, awful, oh, horrifying. Yeah, orange. Oh, no. You're not going to kick me out, are you? What? No, no, of course not. No, you can change them later. Besides, the time for squash has passed. We must deal with other matters now. Right, good, great. Now, we need to deal with the business plan we want to turn over in the fourth quarter. But uh, our beliefs, aren't they important? Well, sort of. The beliefs are very much secondary. The key part is getting our name out there. Well, that doesn't sound like the proper New Age religions we all know and love. It sounds like a religion founded by down on our look CEOs. What? I haven't been entirely truthful with you, Liam. You see... We're actually high-flying fat cats trying to get back on our feet. The financial crash hit us really hard. Did it? I'll say. Alan here founded Amazon. I bloody did as well. My mum lost her job. I know. We're regular down and outs. We couldn't afford to celebrate Pancake Day. Or Christmas. Oh yeah, that bloody credit crunch. We pray on the week. So we thought, hey, the Scientologists have a good thing going. I want a piece of that pie. That scary, scary pie. Mm, Yeah, scary pie. Scary, very scary pie. pie. Yes. Pie. So with that in mind, we turned ourselves to expansion. Sandra, I believe you've been doing some work on this. Yes, sir. Well, we've considered all our options, and basically in the fullness of time, all things considered, long story short, not beating about the bush, getting to the point absolutely as fast as I can. Yes, yes. We should set up a branch in the end flat. Right, good, great, fantastic. What? Wait, no, hang on. When was I consulted about this? Well, I must have consulted you. We wouldn't have done this without consulting someone. Right, Sandra, we did consult someone, didn't we? Absolutely. We've definitely consulted someone about this. Well, if that's all right with you then, Liam. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. I can foresee no issues with this particular cause of action. (laughs) I can. Damn it, Alan. Martha, sorry I'm a bit late. Had to hassle a few cucumber suppliers. They're slippery types. No worries. <laughs> Gold. Anyway, what did you fancy doing tonight? Dinner then a film? Actually, Zoe, I thought we could just talk. Right. Well, Zoe, I've actually really enjoyed our last few dates and I think we kind of work well together. I mean, we've lots in common. We both have secrets. We both have pasts. And to be honest, I just really like you. That wasn't very funny. Well, no, I was being genuine. I really like you. Uh, but, this is Zoe, I, I think we can work really well together. I, I don't know what's wrong, Martha, but I, I think you need to have a look at your material. These new gags, they're a bit jarring. But, but, I, I've changed. 
To be honest, Martha, I think that's the problem. I mean, I miss old Martha, fun Martha, the kind of Martha that would lie under rubble for weeks on end, play American football with two broken legs, and then hobble off to tell us the gods. You really hurt hurt me that day. I appreciate you trying to rekindle the old fire, but it's gone, Martha. It's all gone. But, uh... Hush, hush, sad lady. Why are you crying? The Dean, what are you doing here? Well, I haven't really got much to do this week, so I'm just perusing a draft of my excellent novel, Bloody Hell. What? No, no, that's what it's called, Bloody Hell. Anyway, what's all this crying about? You look like an awful waterfall, and I should know. I've sailed up the Niagara Falls. Well, possibly the love of my life has just left me. Well, listen, Lovelace, let me give you some paternal advice. Sit on my lap. I'd rather not, thanks. Then I'll sit on yours. Oof! I've always liked you as a student, Lovelace. You're basically dead inside, and, and you churn out subpar essays with little to no thought put into them. The perfect scholar in my view. Oh, cheers? But look, if you're not sad, then, then in short, there's no point to you. It's very much your thing. Oh, right. Look at it this way. Imagine a beautiful duck, but inside the duck wants to be a plumber, and it's floating on a vast ocean made of fire. Right. Yeah, yeah, Paul did that. Right. Anyhow, an ice cream salesman appears on the horizon and sways the duck's ducky desires. And then the big shot lawyer shows up. Sorry, Dean, but how is this meant to help me? It's not you, fool. I'm giving you my plot synopsis. Right. Liam, I've had an amazing morning. Did you know that the buses run in the half hour as well? They're... Oh, hello. Hello, madam. How can I help you? You're in my house. And there are banners everywhere. Ha <laughs> Yes. Is this my house? Not anymore. Huh. Well, okay. Well, cheers. Hey, me again. Hello. Yeah, I, I can't help thinking I don't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> you should have thought about that before you left the house. Hey, Liam. We don't live here anymore. Hello, Liam. Hello, Sandra. Yeah, sorry about that. I do, though. You do? What? Why are you calling each other? Oh, hang on. <laughs> These are your cult friends, aren't they? It's not a cult. It's the most holy order of anti dilute Priceless. Bill, the cult live here now. <laughs> That's really funny. Are you going to call the Dean? I'd reckon you'd really enjoy this. No time. Right, you are there, Sandra. Sorry, Charlie. It's just your hat. It's orange. It'll have to go. It's transmitting brain signals. <laughs> No, Charlie, you're not quite understanding. It's it's orange, it'll have to go. But I love this hat. I want it in a police auction. It belonged to Genghis Khan. Hey, guys. What's this mystery woman doing in the new branch? She's a previous tenant who thinks she still lives here. Oh, that always happens. <laughs> we steal their homes. Hmm. So, mystery woman, when will you be leaving? Well, actually, she was about to move her fancy evil orange hat. It's orange. Did I mention that? Orange, 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 yes, that's a thing we don't like. Yes, great, fantastic. Now, it's the evil that defines the world today. Mutons control our every waking moment using the colour orange. If we, the antidiluvians, did not try and stop this dark legacy consuming the world anew, then who knows what might happen. God, he's really lapping this stuff up, isn't he? Hang on, do you not believe in this? Of course we don't. We're down on our luck CEOs. Liam... I don't mind you being in a cult, but this is the least committed cult I have ever seen. Actually, we're not a cult. It says here... You know, I've been thinking we might actually be a cult. Shut up, Anne. I'm sorry, Charlie, but but this is me now. They understand me in a way you never did. We grew up together. Did we? Or did we just grow upwards? Next to each other. Deconstructing sentences. That was a thing of ours. Not anymore. He's one of us now. (laughs) (laughs) You'll pick it up. What was that? Who 
Who the devil is that? Box set, guy! Hi. Yes, Liam. I'm here to help. You were right. I do work a dead-end job, and I can't share basic truths with my wife. So, I told Charlene what I do, and she left me. But it's fine. I've got visiting rights on the kids. Kids, do you want to see some pictures? Focus, box set guy. Why are you here? Sorry. Anyway, I'm here to tell you, Liam, there's nothing wrong with your life as it is. You're fine with two regular friends and a few recurring friends. You don't need this cult. Ah, I told you. Listen to box set guy. Well, of course I'm not going to listen to box set guy. He just destroyed a wall. A, a, a door was open. He's shown the superior pictures of his kids. Oh, that's Poppy. She's nine. She'll be starting year five in September. Or is it four? I never can tell. They grow up so fast. Liam, please. No, Charlie. This cult is my life now, and I'm happy. The dean isn't trying to expel or traumatise me. I don't have to eat bloody vegan food from an aggressive cockney. And I'm tired of Martha Lovelace being funnier than me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go have a lovely glass of cool milk with my chums. I can't believe you're doing this. Well, you'll just have to... Hang on, who left the milk out? Oh, that was me. Sorry, Liam. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah, sorry, chum. I made a panna cotta earlier. Do you not even care? Well, what's a pint of milk between friends? Right, get out, leave my house, you strange people. This was clearly a bit of a misstep, and the past week has been a terrible mistake on my part. Everybody out. <laughs> this keeps happening as well, doesn't it, Sandra? It sure does, Alan, it sure does. Oh, come on, everyone, let's just go to squash. Get out, you parasites! <laughs> Bloody cult, eh? So, uh, I assume we're cool, Charlie. Let's go to easy sunshine. Great! That's a pound, please. Hey, guys. Hi, Zoe. I heard it didn't work out with Martha. What was that about? Are you all right? Yeah, because I've learned. I've learned that you can try and plug a rut with new experiences and new people, perhaps a new set of beliefs. But what you really need to worry about are the people right beside you right now. Perhaps those who you live with, because that's who really matters. But ultimately, all those new people are transient. Yeah. How are the minis? Haven't you heard? They're getting married. They fell in love. Do you, Vinny, take this Vinny to be your lawfully wedded Vinny? Which Vinny do you mean? It would be nice if you specified. What? Hey, Vinny, I think this guy is some kind of screwball. I'm inclined to agree. Could one of you please just say I do? I do, you do, we all do. I have no idea what this man is talking about. Me neither, just kiss me. Ah, shucks. Excuse me, we've been waiting for the vows to be finished for two hours. Two hours, mind. Hey, they made it. That's nice. This is the happiest day of my life. Hey, Hey, my my boss boss here. What? So, uh, here's your green tea, Charlie. My treat. Low. So, I assume everything's back to normal? You kicked me out of my house. And do you really not like Zoe's food? (laughs) Yeah, who knows what kind of crazy adventures we'll have next week. Liam, do you not like my food? You know what I wonder? How's that old cult getting on, eh? You always said you liked it. (laughs) Yeah. Meanwhile... Well, look at us then. Just three down on our luck CEOs, handing out leaflets in a shopping centre. Yeah, I don't mind, though. Of course you don't, you. You you are a leaflet. Yeah, that, that's quite a good joke, actually. I can't insult him. He literally can't be insulted. He's too jolly. Let it go. Uh, I suppose you're right. Good God. What's that? It looks like a tremendous gentleman being carried around by a sad lady. Good Lord, it is. See if they want to fly. Excuse me, interested in the... Hello, groundling. I don't know why I ever walked anywhere. When will I rest? Why are you carrying a blunderbuss? I'm glad you asked. The publishers, all 27 of them, have rejected my brilliant novel. So I went home to get the blunderbuss. And we're going to assassinate the entire publishing industry with old Lady Astor here. My name's Martha. I was talking about the blunderbuss. God, I hate it when the cabbie tries to chat. Oh, it's a shame about that. If you self-publish on an e-reader, you get 70% of the royalties. Really? How can you possibly know that? I founded Amazon, I did. Bloody hell! Oh! Alan, you're dying! 
Oh, will you look at that? A bloody ham as well. Off Course was created by Jack Nichols, Edmund Colley and Michael Dodds. It starred Dave Duncan, Alexandra Reindorp, Elizabeth Swinburne, Tom Clements, Liz Duggan, Sam Valentine, Henry Banks, Dower Griffin, Libby Borton, Andrew Eck and James Varney. This episode was written by Tom Clements with Jack Nichols, Michael Dodds, Dave Duncan, Edmund Colley and Henry Banks. This episode was edited by Dave Duncan and James Duncan. The theme song was composed by Michael Dodds and Edmund Colley, with vocals by the Lancaster University Theatre Group. Sound effects for this episode were sourced from freesfx.com. Off Course is produced in association with the Lancaster University Comedy Institute. You can visit our Facebook page for more details. Lucy presents Off Course. And remember to tune in next week on 2pm Saturdays on Bellwig FM for another original episode of Off Course.